Nothing to do with women. No Tinder, no going on Instagram and even looking at pictures of women and be like, damn, that's a f All right, let me explain the red pill. So the red pill is basically a matrix reference. It's when you realize what the dating standards and norm really are in the world, that men are providers and they have to become something great and they have to hunt. And the women are out there just getting the resources and gathering around, basically realizing that Hollywood and sometimes even Bollywood standards are totally weird because all these movies, they just like to sell you some romantic stuff which is not based on reality and it might work for some people some people they just don't know what to do and they are out there stalking and they just don't know how to interact with people and they have no social realization whatsoever so for those people who are left behind and feel that the world is against them they might improve themselves and get something done and it also identifies some real problems and for some people it might even be very good because they will be strong and become a soldier and maybe provide for the family so it's not totally toxic but outside of some self improvement it's pretty toxic especially if you realize that a lot of these people they think very black and white like the way you interact with people it's way too transactional a lot of times it's also very shallow and it sometimes also just slides into black pill and a black pill can also be very toxic there's this weird idea that nobody wants you unless you're six feet or if you look a certain part and it's not even based on reality because all this is subjective it's not reality and it will never be so it is exactly a healthy dose if some of the stuff helps you well a lot of times you after one hour watching these videos, you already know more than most people. And let's be honest, you don't need to have a PhD in every single facet of red pill or whatever. A lot of these people are just making their living with content. So even if they have a solution with you, they can give you that in five minutes. And sometimes you have that, but you still want to watch more because yeah, apparently you don't have anything else to do, I guess. If you watch more videos of First Man or Hamza or whoever, you will realize it's all the same. They all talk like each other. And at some point you just have to stop with it. You can summarize First Man in 30 seconds. There's something called male advantage. In order to be an outlier male, you need to be a rich, charismatic, funny, with stories, uh, and in shape, and all those things. And that's why all those things are things that you can build. Why? Because men are built. Men are not born. So you need time to build those things. And Chris says that basically you need to sacrifice your time when you are young and focus on building those things. Focus on devoting yourself to becoming the best version of yourself so that you can enjoy the fruits of your labor in the future. And most people, especially like average people, they're not going to be able to enjoy that fruit of that labor because they are just not putting in the work while they're young. They're fucking around in high school, in college, video games, social media, porn, all those things, and they're not going to be able to see that lifestyle in the future. So to even summarize that, you should stop partying every weekend, you should stop drinking and spending all your money dumb, use your compounding effect to be the best in your life at 30 plus, and then you can have a party life or whatever you want. So that's basically it. I summarized all the videos that I made and all the messages that they sent out within a few seconds. And also when it's Hamza and other people, I can summarize that as well. Dopamine detox, lift weights, socialize, care about your mental health, meditate, eat healthy, have a great relationship with your family. Guys, let's be honest, whether you watch Hamza or First Man, after a few videos, you already have the concept, you already get it. In theory, you can stop watching their videos forever. You got all the concept of them, you don't need them anymore. You can watch them for entertainment, but I don't recommend that either. You can better be productive by doing something else. I recommend you, instead of watching these videos and procrastinating and thinking you're productive, instead of the consumer frame, go to the producer frame, okay? Produce your own content, get something out and eventually you can consolidate what you consume and even be better at it and maybe help some people as well problem with a lot of people that are watching these people like first man and hamza they think that this person is like a father figure to them and a lot of times these people have daddy issues and of course they're gonna look up to someone like hamza because he is calling himself a cult leader but i can guarantee you that there's a lot of black and white thinking hence the jeffries and the odonis Did you know after a few videos you already get a concept and this guy is 25 he changes his opinion every single week so yeah he's not that much different from you none of the people in these videos have original ideas they just reiterate what they have been told before they just tell about their own experience and you can experience all that yourself also i'm not sure if they do this intentionally but they make you feel that if you're not at their trajectory you're kind of shit and there's also a lot of things with the self-improvement gurus or whatever they call themselves these days there's no measurable result when are you good enough do you need to have a big channel do you need to have a big company when is enough basically you're just chasing the dragon at this point you don't have to make a million dollars a year just to get girls who like you. You don't need to have six plates on your bench. If you're a decent human being and you practice empathy and sympathy,
simplicity, generosity, curiosity, you're better than most people anyway. And people will like you for you. It doesn't make you a Jeffrey when you don't have six figures a year. What the world needs is actually normal people. There's enough people with narcissism. There's enough people who just do everything for attention. The best measurement you can have is be emotionally healthy. And these days it's very easy to get help anywhere. Therapy, get some real therapy, get some measurable results to practice self-love. And if people around you feel that positive energy, there will always be some people who will like you for you. The only reason my first man makes all this content is because he has a whole business model. Even if you take his supplements, it's basically just the same as maca powder. So can you call first man a fraud? Not necessarily. If this person helps you, that's good for you. But take the concepts and go away and do your own stuff. Realize that all these people on the internet are making content to make a living, to have their business, and the idea you can already get for free. If you look at other black pillars like Reed Waffles, the more you watch these people and the more you believe them, the more you feel bad about yourself. If you look at the dating life of Reed Waffles, there's no reason for him to promote the black pill. Back in the days, you had some lousy friends who actually wanted your girlfriend. So basically like a sneaky guy who pretends to be your friend and stealing your girlfriend. Nowadays, you have the internet, you have people like Reed Waffles that make 100K people feel bad about themselves. So he can get more girls for himself so instead of building you up he's breaking you down so he can get stuff for his own it's very pathetic if you think about it but this is the internet what else can you expect